In this tutorial you will learn how to position a 3D text in a 3D space and how to fly through the text. Learn the basic of the powerful 3D tracker tool called the Camera Tracker and why not how to mirror the text on top of the water. This is the first clip that we are going to use and we want to place the text on top of the lake and show the text reflection on the water. For this open the effects menu and search for the tracker. Use the camera tracker node between your in and out nodes. In the inspector, activate the preview auto track locations and you will see the points all over the place in your videos. To view them even better, go to options tab and check darken image. You will see the difference now. Go back to the track tab and in case you need more tracking data, you can play with these two sliders. More data means more time to complete the tracking and will not guarantee you the end result. My suggestion is to start with the default values. Check bidirectional tracking and press start the auto track. When it's done, you can go to the solve tab and below you can see how many tracks you have. Press the solve button and you will need to check the average solve error to be below 1. In this case we have a perfect value 0.3. Next step is to go to the export tab. In here most of the times you will need to change the 3D scene transform but we are going to cover this part in the second example. You can press the export now. After the export, multiple nodes are generated and let's make some cleanup. Unlink the camera tracker from the in and the out nodes. The camera tracker node is no longer needed for this example. Now connect the renderer node to the media out. If you preview your video now, you will see some purple lines. This is because of the ground plane node that was also generated. We are not going to cover this node in this tutorial and can be removed. Let's add to the 3D text and we need to connect it to the merge 3D node. Add your own text and change the size. To change the position, use the transform tab and here use the translation and the rotation areas. So far the tracking is working well and we have our text on top of the lake. Let's create the reflection. We can copy and paste the 3D text node to duplicate our text. The new node should be connected as well to the Merge 3D node. Having the second node selected, in the inspector, change the value from the X in the rotation area. Let's make some space between our text and the reflection, like this. Using the shading tab, reduce the opacity until you are happy with the result. For me, this is the final result. This is the clip that we are going to use for the second example and let's add the camera tracker like before. In the inspector, check the preview and this time I will try to add more tracking data. Check the bidirectional tracking to make sure the entire clip is going to be tracked. For better visibility, check the darken image from the options tab again. Let's auto track and when it's done, move to the Solve tab. Again, here you can see the total number of tracks and let's see how Resolve will solve them. Not very good this time, the average is higher than 1. What to do in this case? Select Tracks Satisfying Filter and press the Delete button. 
you should have a smaller number of points, but that's perfect, because we need only good tracking data. Let's solve again, and the result is fantastic, 0 0.2. Let's move to the export tab now. Like I promised, now we are going to use the 3D scene transform, and the first thing that uh, we need to do here is to press the unaligned button. Now we need to select one or multiple points from our starting point, the origin. Press set from selection. I have this error because apparently I don't have any points selected. Let's try again to select more. Perfect. Now we need to select all the points that uh, are on the ground, the horizon level. I will select all the points from the water. Make sure you have the shift on the keyboard pressed and select them all. When it's done, press the set from selection and the orientation should be good now. When everything is done, you can press the align button. Let's export now. Unlink the camera tracker and link the renderer to the media out node. Add and connect your 3D text to the merge 3D node. To make the text smaller, go to the Transform tab and decrease the scale. You can reposition the text as we like, but our goal is to find a letter that we'll use for the flight through effect. In my case, the letter is O. Jump in the timeline and adjust the fields from translation. At this moment should be pretty good. Now I'm going to show you some tricks that will be useful while working in the 3D space. Select the Merge 3D node and select the left viewer like this. Now switch to the split view. You will see them side by side, the 3D space in the left and result in the right. Right click and you can change the view from perspective to camera 3D. This might be useful in some scenarios. Going back to the perspective mode, you can view all the elements from the 3D space. Here is a camera, the green line is a camera movement, you will see all the tracking points and the text in 3D. If you want, you can move the text like this. If you play the clip, you will see the camera movement in 3D. Like before, you can remove the ground plane node. From the point cloud 3D node, go to the inspector and reduce the size of the points. Looks more clean now. Alright, let's make our text a 3D text. For that, select the text node and in the inspector go to the text tab and extend the extrusion. Here increase the depth and the bevel depth and width. Now our text looks like 3D. If we move closer and zoom in, we can see the text in 3D but it's all white. I can show you a simple way to change that. Open the effects menu and search for replace. Use the replace material 3D between the text 3D and the merge 3D. Next, remove the replace text and go to the templates. Fusion and open the shaders. You can use any item from the list. I will go with carbon fiber. Connect the new node to the replace material 3D. And yes, it's that simple. Happy tracking and see you next time.